like, uh, you know, I was a teacher. And this is how my class is always doing. And for some reason, I have my face and I'm just freaking like this. How's it going, guys? I'm Jason, the best man in this show. Well, first off, let's give a big congratulations to the newlywed couple. Thank you for everyone who showed up. Okay, Jason really said he mumbled. But thank you for everyone for coming out to this beautiful city. You know, well, what an amazing venue. It's just, I mean, it's just, we're so all lucky to be here. But um, anyway, I, I'm so privileged to have the opportunity to take up your time and speak on this mic. Um, so, also, thank you to the parents of the bride and groom. Uh, your character is mirrored in the quality of this experience and embodied and your beautiful children. So thank you guys so much. So, I've known Jason for a long time, like well over a decade, it seems. Oh, it's definitely true, yeah. It's over a decade. And, um, you know, we kind of were talking about before this, but I didn't really recall when I met Jerk. Um, as weird as that sounds. And, you know, I kind of attribute that too because it seems that, like, I've known her my entire life. You know, so Jason is is been like a brother to me, and Jerk is without a doubt been his sister. Um, she's always been so warm and accommodating, friendly, and it's been a pleasure getting to know her um, over over the few years. Um, so I look again at you as a brother, you as a sister, and now as a family. So I think it's just a beautiful thing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty gassed from that, that uh, what, what do you call that? Uh, what did we do? Hop in the Gila Hop, that was amazing. <laughs> thank you for all those who helped, and thank you for those who did I saw you. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, Jason and I, uh, we've had a lot of fun over the years. Um, I've always been able to rely on this guy, he's, he's like a rock. Um, so. Uh, you know, when I was in high school, I kind of thought about this. Um, you you kind of took me under your wing and you introduced me to all these amazing people. Um, these, like, minds in high school that, like, I couldn't fathom. Like, I was, I taught high school for a little bit and, like, just the conversations that these people, kids that he was hanging out with, it was just so mature and interesting and it really kind of sculpted <laughs> the man that I am today. Uh, obviously, I'm still working on that part, but... It's been like an amazing thing. So I just want to thank you, Jason, for being such a large part of my life. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. I love you, man. So, um, yeah, I got to see the newlyweds home. It's so beautiful. They have tomato plants like overgrowing. It's like the luscious, most beautiful place. And I know it's going to be filled up with memories and uh, you know just beautiful things moving forward. Um, so now that you're married, you guys know what to do. Jason and Jericho forever. forever. Jerry taught me very early on not to litter. <laughs> um, 
and you guys just truly, really love your family and friends. Um, I'll start off by giving you guys just a real quick background on the beautiful bride and my history and friendship this far. About 23 years ago, it's a pretty long time ago, but 23 years ago, the Schwartz family moved to Coral Springs from Colorado. Um, my family and I have already been living in the community that they moved into. <laughs> um, the first time I met Jerrica and her lovely brother, who is now my brother, Sin, was when <laughs> they were walking up and down the street in North Springs. And I'd just like to point out that they were wearing cowboy boots. <laughs> Which we, my family is from New England, so we thought that was very weird. <laughs> but we still, my dad invited Jerry and Zinn to come play kickball with my older sister and I. And that was basically the beginning of our friendship and where we are today. <laughs> from that point on, we, we grew up houses away from each other. And even though Jerry was a few years older than me, we did. <laughs> And we went to different schools. Um, so we were inseparable. We would sleep over at each other's houses every weekend. We would spend every New Year's Eve together. That's a tradition I'm sad ended. Um, we would run from house to house to catch Britney Spears. Can you give me one more time on TRL? We learned that you should not walk up to a cow and poo at it. <laughs> it will move back to you very loud. <laughs> and then you'll turn around to run and fall. <laughs> um, just fast forwarding a few years is when Jerry left for UCF. Something pretty cool happened. Um, Jerry lives in Orlando. She met this lovely stud right here. <laughs> when, I first learned, when I first learned of this mystery guy, I was slightly concerned. <laughs> Didn't have the best track record at that point, but. the two of you guys on your wedding day. So on that note, I would like to propose, I would like to propose a toast to my forever best friend, my bonus sister, and the lovely lady that always love what I hate and hate what I love. <laughs> 